Hello, everybody. I am Mr. Johnson, and I want to welcome you all to my math class. This video is to go over a couple of important things that we will be doing a little bit differently this year. Okay, so first of all, the most important thing to know before coming into all this is that my classroom is what we call a flipped classroom. Some of you have probably heard of this before. This will be my second year doing this. So if you knew people in my last class from last year, then you know how this works. Um, but for the rest of you, we are going to talk about it in this video. Okay, so flipped classroom, essentially we're switching how a traditional math class would originally go. So looking back at a traditional math class, typically we would have a, lect a lecture, and that's anywhere from you know 30 to 45 minutes-ish, depending on what you're going over. You take notes while you're or your teacher is giving your lecture, and then you have an assignment that you take home and do at home, and maybe spend, I don't know, 30, 45 minutes on it, or maybe longer, depending on how much time you got in class. Okay, so this is a traditional classroom model. Um, but what happens when you have a question on your homework? Okay, typically you go to your parents maybe, and some of your parents are like, oh, please don't ask me anymore because I don't know ninth grade math. Um, no offense to any of the parents, because a lot of parents do know it, some parents don't. Um, but if your parents don't know, then maybe you have to go to your brother or your sister or maybe a smart neighbor, or you Google YouTube on YouTube and try to figure out ways to solve it. So that's some good problem-solving techniques. Um, however, it can be kind of frustrating um, to figure all that out. So, or if you get sick and miss class, then typically you're going to your peers, trying to get notes that they've taken, and trying to piece it all together. Um, so that can get frustrating in a traditional math class. So s hoping to alleviate some of those frustrations um, as we go to a flipped classroom. Okay. In a flipped classroom, what we do is you're going to be, uh, we flip the traditional model, so we're switching the places between home and school. So at, instead of taking your homework home and doing it there, we're going to be doing your homework at school, and you're going to be doing the lesson or the lecture instruction all at home via YouTube. Okay, And I'm going to be making all these videos. They're all made by me, and I'm sure that you will all get used to hearing my voice and get to listen to it all the time. It's great. Um, where was I? Okay, so yeah, you watch the videos at home, and then you come to school and do all your schoolwork. Okay, Ideally, this gets rid of a lot of your homework time, so you don't have to spend all day or all night doing homework, math work during the evening. You can just get all of it done at home or at school. Okay, so we have, I'll be making some miniature lessons that are condensed to 20 minutes or less, hopefully, ideally. I know there was a couple last year that went a little bit long, but I will do my very best to make sure they are short and sweet and to the point, highlighting the most important things you need to know. Okay, and you're gonna watch those at home. Okay, and at home, ideally you have fewer distractions. There's nobody talking behind you. Um, the videos can be paused and rewound if you need to listen to me do it again or you need to just practice again. And they can be watched on your own time before, as long as it's before the next class. So watch it on your own schedule. Um, but it's important that you do that before the next class. That way when you come into class, you're prepared and you have a little bit of background knowledge of what we're going to be going over that day and what the homework is we're going to be doing. Okay, and some other things. You get to do the written work in class, all the assignments. Some benefits of this, um, I, I am there to answer your questions, uh, the teacher. And you have more time, if needed, to go over extra examples or for extra instruction. So if I feel like, oh, I didn't explain that very well in the video last night, or you guys are like, yeah, that video kind of sucked, let's go over this, uh, we can do that in class. And students can work in groups. So you're working together a lot on this one assignment, and this is nice because not all of your brains work the same, right? Somebody might understand something better than you, and it's good to bounce ideas off their head. And in another case, maybe you understand something better than your partner, and then they can ask you for help. So it's good to work in groups and intermingle, and we'll have lots of time to do that uh, while we're working on the assignments and whatnot. And then, if you are working productively and you're not dinking around and goofing off with your friends, 
in class, then you should be able to get your homework completed by the end of class. That means you don't have to take anything home. The only thing you have to do at home is watch the videos and then take the Canvas quizzes, which I will talk to you about in a second. Okay, but ideally you would have no more missing assignments. And that would be awesome because I know that was a super big issue uh, a, few years, a few years ago when I was not doing a flipped classroom. Okay, I'd always have about half of my assignments missing and then people would be turning them in at the very end of the term and it was just a big mess. So ideally you get the homework done in class. Uh, that means you're being productive in class, not messing around. Otherwise you're gonna have double homework, which is not gonna be fun for you. So get your homework done in class by being productive and staying on task. And then when you go home, you just have to watch the video and then you're ready for class the next day. Okay, and then after, you're, when you do this, class becomes more interactive. I can interact with you and you can interact with your peers. Um, it can lead to higher grades, uh, less missing assignments, like I said earlier, and better learning, okay? I think it's better to learn math. I think you learn math by doing math. So we're going to be doing the math in class versus the traditional model where you would do your math at home and there was nobody there really to help you. So the learning is going to be taking place in class, most of the learning, and then you're going to be introduced to the concepts at home in the videos. Okay, it's all about practice. Okay, this only works though if you follow the procedure all the time, 100% of the time. Okay, so you have to go home, watch the video. There's a video nearly every night because we have math every day, uh, except on quiz days or test days or random days like that. But just plan on a video every night, and then if you don't have one, it'll be like a pleasant surprise, night off, yippee. Um, but they must be watched before class. This includes absent days, so if you're going to be absent, please check Canvas, make sure you do that. Um, also, check or sign up for Remind. I'm going to be reminding... I'll send out text reminders saying the video is due tomorrow morning, yada, yada, yada. Okay, so if you sign up for that, then you should have a good reminder of the video you need to do. Okay, uh, you're going to take notes on each video, and I will give you guided notes. Okay, so I'm going to print out notes for you. What I do ask, though, is you get a three-ring binder to keep these notes in. Okay, so you're going to be kind of forming your own little math book with all these notes that you printed off. Okay, lesson by lesson. <laughs> Uh, with the notes, with your notes open, after you've watched the video, you'll take the Canvas quiz. Okay, there's going to be a quiz for each video. That way it kind of holds you accountable for watching the video and you're not just showing up to class and hoping that you know what's going on. Okay, so take the Canvas quiz. The quizzes are worth 20% of your grade. Okay, evaluations are 70%, so those are definitely more important, but quizzes are your next highest, which is 20%. Okay, and late quizzes are only going to be worth half credit. So that means if you take every quiz late, you're missing 10% of your grade. Okay, so that means the highest you get was 90%, and that's if you get 100 on everything else. Okay, so let's not do that. Make sure you're doing your quizzes on time. That way you can get full credit, and we don't have to worry about um, you having to go back and rewatch things and whatnot to catch up. Okay, so come prepared every day to work hard, get your assignments done, and to learn. And then maybe we'll have some fun along the way, too. All right, so that is my spiel for flipped classroom. Um, if you have any questions, I'll get to my contact info, info in a bit. But please check Canvas for any more information about grades, policies, materials, etc. Okay, you can actually become an observer of your student um, through Canvas. And if you need help with that, uh, you can ask somebody at the office or um, one of the administration if you have their info. Okay, but please check Canvas for all of that information. And if you have any questions, my email is bjohnson at earlylightacademy.org. So you can go ahead and shoot me an email. I'm pretty quick to respond usually. Oh, also please check your email addresses on Aspire because okay, that's how I send out progress reports and any other emails that I would love for you to hear. Okay, So make sure that's accurate. That way I know that I'm actually sending it to somebody and it's not just going out there into the abyss. Okay, Thank you for watching this video. Uh, for you students, also parents, possibly if you want, you can watch my math videos if you want to learn with your students, but this is typically what it will look like. Okay, it's about, this one's only about 10 minutes, okay? So your math video is maybe 10 to 15 minutes, 
maybe 20, it's a longer topic, but this is essentially what a flipped classroom will look like. Okay. And then for your students, um, if you go onto Canvas, there should be a welcome video quiz that you can go ahead and take if it is up. If not, you'll have to wait for a minute, um, probably until the first week or so of school. But um, make sure you do that when it's available. And thank you all for watching again. And I will, I'm looking forward to seeing you all in the next couple days.